So in this problem, we're told to sketch the graph of an example of a function that satisfies all the given conditions. So we're given all these conditions here, and we're given these graphs. And we got to determine which of these conditions uh, fit the graph. So let's just start with our first condition here. So it says, the limit as x approaches 2, f of x is going to be equal to infinity. So let's look at this. So as we approach 2 here, and so let's just start with our first graph. So if this is 1, this looks to be about 2. They say x equals 2. This is 2. Do we approach infinity? Well, it seems like we do, right? Because on the left side, we approach infinity and on the right side. And that's necessary for a limit because if they don't approach from both sides, the limit doesn't exist. So this one checks out for the first condition. Let's check this one. So this one right here, we can see that it goes down instead of up. So it seems like it's approaching negative infinity, right? But as we get closer, closer to 2, we go down to negative infinity. So this one isn't going to work because it doesn't meet the first condition. Well, let's look at the next two. So what about this one? So this one... Uh, from the right, it does seem to go into infinity when we're at 2, but on the left, it goes to negative infinity. So right here, the limit doesn't even exist, right? So it doesn't, it may approach infinity from the right, but it has to approach infinity from both the right and the left. So this one doesn't meet the first condition either. And then we can see the same thing basically for the last one, except for it approaches infinity from the left, but from the right side, it approaches negative infinity. So this one also doesn't check out. So based off that, we already know these three don't check out based on the first condition. So the only one left is going to be the first one. So that's how you solve this problem.